this example, guys, I need to determine the mass moment of inertia for this thin plate about an axis that is perpendicular to the page about passing through point A. And I know that the material has a mass per unit area of 20 kilograms per meter squared, which means, guys, here, I don't know the density. I know the density times thickness, or I know the mass per unit area, which means if I multiply this 20 by the area, I can find the mass, all right? But what do I have here, guys? I have a solid a, a, a thin disk, but I have an empty thin plate. And guys, I want you to remember what we did if I have a hole in a statics for the area moment. If I have a hole, I need to subtract the moment of this hole. All right, the moment of inertia of this hole. And this is also applied for the mass moment of inertia. Because in fact, guys, this, uh, 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 this plate here is equal to this thin plate or thin disk minus this thin plate. Which means, guys, if I want to find I of this one over O, I have to find I of the disk D with respect to O minus I of the plate P with respect to O. And remember, guys, this O is not the center of mass of these two shapes. All right, so it's not the center of mass, which means if I know I around the center of mass of these two shapes, then I have to apply what theorem goes to find I with respect to O? What theorem? Parallel axis theorem, perfect. And this parallel axis theorem states that I with respect to O is equal to I with respect to G plus M times D where squared where D is the distance between O and the G. All right. So, guys, what I have to do is to apply it for each I. All right. So this I of this with respect to O will be equal to I of this with respect to G plus, sorry, M D G O. Word. And fortunately here, guys, they both have the same G, which is this one. All right, so they both both have the same G. All right, minus I the plate with respect to O uh, to G sorry plus M D squared G O, and of course this will be M. Of the disk and this will be m of the plate all right guys and what is the distance between this center g and o it's in fact the radius of this disk all right so let's start one by one i'm going to start by id with respect to o. id with respect to O, as I said, using the parallel axis theorem, is equal to ID with respect to G plus MD squared GO. All right? Now, if I start by this one, what is this one? I of the disk with respect to the center of mass, which is an axis that is perpendicular to this disk passing through the center of mass, it's, as we said, half MR squared, all right? So it's a thin disk, so it's equal to half m r squared of the disk, of course, plus m of this disk times the distance between this center of mass and O, which is here also r, all right, squared, which means it's equal to 3 over 2 m d r squared. Now, if you memorize this table, you can use it directly, all right? So if you memorize, guys, this table, you can use it directly. It's a 3 over 2 mR squared for any axis located at the periphery of this disk. Now, what about the second one? 
The second one is what? It is a thin plate. And I need to find it also around O, which means I need to find I of this thin plate around G plus M plate, the distance squared G P, or sorry, G O. Now, if I go back also to the table, I know that if I have a thin plate, then I give this back to B is equal to 1 over 12 m a squared plus b squared, where a and b are the measures of the sides of this thin plate, all right? So I'm going to apply it here now. So it's 1 over 12. m of the plate. A squared, what is A squared? This one is A squared, is A, and I know that this A is here, and this is special case equal to the radius, all right? So it is equal to the radius. So I'm going to say it's R squared, plus B is also equal to the radius. In fact, this is a square, so A is equal to B. B is also equal to A is equal to R, 200 millimeters, so it's also R squared, plus M of the plate d squared and d squared is also equal to r squared okay am i done guys in fact i did not find this md and this mp what is md in the question guys they are giving me the mass per unit area which means i need to multiply it by the unit area in order to find uh, uh, this mass and this means guys that md so where MD is equal to 20 times the area, which means 20 pi r squared. And here where MP is equal to 20 times the area, which is here 20 times r times r, which is also r squared. All right, guys? So now you can do the subtraction. So i with respect to o of the whole shape is equal to 3 over 2 times 20 times pi r squared and times r squared, so it's r4, right? So I substitute md by 20 pi r squared, so it will be 20 pi r4. And the second one here, I'm going to have 6. Uh, 1 over 6 plus 1, so it's, it's 7 over 6 r squared, and I'm going to replace mp by 20, so it's 7 over 6, 20 mp r4, right? So it's 7 over 6 times 20 r4, right? So guys, this is io. You can take 20 r4 as your common factor, so it will be 3 over 2 pi minus 7 over 6. Right? So let's see if I am done. The question is to find what? Determine the mass moment of energy of this name plate. So am I done? Um, I, I am done. Now, if the question is to find the uh, radius of gyration, you have to uh, uh, subtract the mass of this thin disk from the mass of this thin plate, and then you have to do I over this whole mass, and this will give you K squared, and then you have to do the square root to find K, the radius of gyration. Any question, guys?